Well, hello. Welcome to my channel. It's Judine. Oh, yeah. Um, hi, it's Jadine. Hello, I'm boiling hot. I'm like on fire. I'm cooking, but I thought I'd come and make a quick little video because um, there's a lot of stuff going on with Kanye West, and I am not a tea channel, okay? Like, I know I'm new here, hi, but I don't want to be a tea channel however there's so much crazy stuff going on in 2020 that i feel like i need to just talk about some some things so kanye west um aka kim kardashian's husband um aka yeezy whatever he goes by now um he's got bipolar disorder and he has been making headlines and news recently because he is um, probably, potentially having a manic episode. So, um, first of all, what is bipolar? Um, bipolar disorder used to be called manic depression. Um, it's basically like a uh, periods of highs and lows that last several weeks months or longer um of kind of crushing lows and really high um they call it manic um, um periods of time as well where you're literally just living your best life and everything's sparkling and golden and wonderful um and it can become dangerous and i wanted to touch on kind of like why we're seeing well my take on why we're seeing these kind of behaviors from Kanye um we know as a as you know the media has put out that Kanye does have bipolar disorder um he started an election campaign um which I found a little bit odd to be fair um and um it seems a bit chaotic, um, which is kind of some of the behaviours of bipolar. So you kind of start believing, you know, you get this, this um, oh, like uh, delusions of grandeur. So you feel like you're a king or a queen or Jesus, Yeezy, Jesus, Ye, Ye whatever he goes by I don't know but anyways um you, you kind of can have delusions of grandeur uh reckless behavior um generally just not speaking kind of normally I suppose you could say um I don't want to say normally but you know like someone that's got disordered thinking so they fit like the way that they they will talk and and um describe things and you know there's that sometimes it's hard to follow the logic of their of what they're saying because they're, they're just talking um but you know some bits might be golden gems and other bits can be a pile of cow manure basically um so yeah it's just kind of sad really i mean um kim kardashian west put out a like an open letter on her instagram story um basically just saying uh lay off her and her family because um there's as because he's an adult there's not much he can do and to be fair to kim that's true really even in the uk if somebody is having a manic episode um they're they you know they're displaying some mania they're they're behaving recklessly um spending a lot of money um you know go just randomly do, doing activities that they wouldn't normally do believing they can like conquer the world um and yeah so the problem is with kanye is that basically um he he did 
a, a rally, I think it was, like a presidential campaign type um, situation where he was speaking to a, a crowd and um, if you haven't seen it, he, he just was basically very emotional and um, talking about things of his past, things like um, saying that his father wanted to get him aborted when his mum was pregnant with him, um, how he and Kim were considering having um, an abortion with, with North and how, you know, that his child might not have ever have existed and, you know, he got very upset, he was crying. So obviously this is not oddly behaviour, you know, that he's, he's displaying symptoms of, of, um, of the mania, that's how it looks um he's been ranting on his twitter page um i don't know if someone's you know kind of been able to do an intervention um but it's very difficult when it comes to adults mental health um even in the uk if you're not a um excuse me if you're not a danger to yourself or others um, they they try as much as possible the health professionals try as much as possible to keep them in the community um, which is a better plan um, instead of hospitalizing people and sectioning people you know uh, depriving them of their rights um, to freedom um, obviously that can be done people are sectioned um however for the most part it's it's kind of like you need the person that's got bipolar to agree to the plan of action so if they say no i don't want anything kind of like what kanye was like i don't want it to do anything you know to do with being sectioned i don't want to go to hospital i don't you know um which who would want to be like who wants to be in a mental institution especially if you know you don't have the insight to to say that this behavior is is not acceptable like you you can't see it because you're 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 manic um you're in a high so you can't see your you're kind of disruptive or dangerous or um reckless um activities or you know things that may have happened so it's it's interesting um you know mental health conditions and um i think it's really sad you know obviously that he's going through this he's got four kids that you know especially nowadays you know once you put something out there you can't recount it you can't take that back so i feel a bit like oh his kids you know north's gonna grow up but maybe be able to see that video one day which you know you can't really put all the blame on kanye because he is if he is having a manic episode then it's unfair to be like yeah you you've you've abused your child you've done something wrong you know but i wouldn't personally want to hear my dad talking about um how he he didn't want me and um you know how he, how my mother nearly swallowed the abortion pills you know so that that lack of insight he doubled down when he when he'd made these claims right he went on his twitter after the, the kind of rally, the, the talking to the crowd and crying and things like that. Um, and he went on his Twitter and started going off about Kim and um, Kris Jenner, um, which it's something that can happen when you're having a, um, a manic episode because you, you can fix it on a person and think that, you know, they, they want the worst for you and they're trying to control you. They're trying to, you know, it's a very difficult situation to be in if you have got somebody that's mentally unwell it's really really hard to get them to engage in services if they don't want to do that and um as their next of kin or their 
their their spouse or whatever relative you really don't you, there's nothing you can do you know the authorities are going to say okay but if they don't want to engage they're not posing a, a, a serious risk you know to need sectioning you know they haven't tried to hurt somebody they're not walking around with weapons they're going to say there's not that we can't really force them to take medications or you know seek support or anything because it's an adult um is that the best thing probably not but on the other hand if you put yourself in that situation would you want to be put in a mental institution where you um are forced to stay there and there's you know there's limitations and things that you can have there like knives or whatever you can't eat with a knife and fork and you know all these we'll things not allow um even plastic knives because they've been used as weapons previously you know you've got to be in this in the grounds you can't leave you know when you think of it that way it does make you think actually that's pretty messed up and i wouldn't want my relative having to go through that if they can be supported in the community but i feel like a good way to help prevent that from happening to prevent the kind of him I just wanted to add, um, hi, editing, editing Jadine here, just popping in. I wanted to add that um, I think they should have had, had a kind of level of trust um, or an agreement that if something was to happen and we noticed you weren't very well, then we're going to get somebody to help. Um, you know, if it was something that was pre-agreed, I think that would have been um, more more likely to get a successful outcome than what they're doing right now, which is basically just letting him ride it out um, because they don't have a choice. So I just wanted to pop in and say that my voice sounds like crap because I'm like half asleep, y'all. But anyways, that's it. Kind of him lashing out and saying they're trying to silence me. Get out was made the film. Get out was made about me. Um, which it's nuts. Like you, hang on. You you made the decision to to marry into um, someone that is not of your race. So you can't turn around and be like, oh yeah, the film Get Out is about me. You know, if you if you have that the insight, then you can go, okay, this doesn't make any sense. But he doesn't have the insight. Um, and my advice to him would be, you know, as much as you feel like you can't trust anybody, the people that love you want you to get help. They're not trying to control you they're not trying to hurt you they're trying to do what's best for you so it's it's really like messed up really but this does happen there is the lulls and the highs and the lulls and the highs you know and you just you know never really know where on that roundabout you're going to end up um so i think people kind of need to take what he's saying at the moment with a pinch of salt i don't think it's a good idea to be oh yeah that's exactly true and this is exactly right and that's what's happening because although yes he might be saying some things like kim and him might have been in that hotel room saying oh yeah i think we need to get an abortion or whatever um but you can't just then on the other hand he's saying okay yeah the, um, the movie get out is about me you know um chris jenner is is gonna pimp my kids out and put them on playboy and all this all this stuff that you know it, you can't you can't take L listen let me get it out me i them dry but me say me want to tell you or something subscribe no man <laughs> you can't take eh? 
you can't listen to one part one portion of what he's saying and run with it because you don't know which which is a delusion and which is a reality and you also you know he's not mentally well so you can't just be like yeah yeah man he's talking the truth yeah yeah he's saying all this stuff yeah yeah but at the end of the day you don't know because nobody knows we don't live with them we're not there so we don't know do we um but i just wanted to just talk about bipolar because it is fascinating disorder um and you know it's good to put the information out there so take what can you says with a pinch of salt hopefully he gets well soon um you know manic episodes can last a, a long time it can last months so if he doesn't engage with services you know we don't know how long this might go on for so i do hope he gets all the help he needs and the treatments he, he needs um but you know people are running with what he's saying and just just leave them just leave him to the side let him get him get himself right and then come back you know if he wants to be the president of the united states and that's a whole nother video girl but ugh, it's a mess it's a mess so yes um i hope you enjoyed my little uh, my little video hopefully i haven't kept you too long i don't think i have hey get in there but um please give me a like give me a give me a comment you know let me know what do you think about Kanye West what do you think he's got to say um you know do you think that he's he's talking the the real stuff do you think that we need to give him a break do you feel like he's not ill that this is him let me know I want to I want to have some engagement um do you care do you not care a lot of people don't care a lot of people do care I'm just putting my little opinion out there. Hey, rhymed. Anyways, subscribe if you haven't. Um, I will be uploading videos at least weekly and I'm aiming to have my videos released every Wednesday. But obviously I'm new in the game, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But thank you for taking the time to watch me all the way to the end and i'll see you next time bye bye what up what up mm, it's fitting oh yeah it's fitting uh, 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 uh. i need to get like a little a little theme tune whatever